Oppositions are widely considered to be the best time to view or image the higher orbit planets. But not all of these oppositions are actually equal. We're going to jump into that in just a sec, but first we're going to establish what exactly is an opposition. So an opposition is when a body in a higher orbit is opposite the sun to a body in a lower orbit. Based on how orbits work, this occurs approximately annually per higher planet for us here on Earth. And during these oppositions, the planets will be much larger than normal in angular size. But you might have noticed these distances between the planets at opposition aren't constant. Since the orbits of the planets aren't perfectly circular, some oppositions can put us much closer to our target than others. This is especially true for Mars, which has one of the higher orbit eccentricities compared to other planets. Additionally, the tilt of the Earth is going to impact how well you can see these oppositions. Your latitude during these oppositions will impact how high in the sky the planet is going to pass. For someone in Sydney, the Mars opposition of 2018 peaked at an excellent 82 degrees. Meanwhile, in Denver, they only observed a peak of 24 degrees. Due to the different periods of the different orbits, what positions will be best where is actually cyclical and can be predicted pretty well. NASA's Horizon System Calculator Online can help us visualize these greater trends. So using their site, I got data points for Mars's position and brightness relative to an observer in Denver every 30 minutes for 35 years. This is a ton of data points, it's over 600,000, but I got all that and made this plot. The brightness in this case can be used as an allegory for distance, and the blue peaks represent oppositions. The best opportunity for planetary imaging occurs when both of these curves are high because it's great when the planet's really close, but if it doesn't arc that high in the sky, it might be a little more difficult to get good images because you're looking through a larger amount of the atmosphere. And on top of that, your window of opportunity per night might be a little bit shorter. So having that high arc can be especially nice as well if you're aiming to take enough vi images so that you can stitch together into a video to capture the rotations of the planets. I actually started looking into this because the Mars opposition this year, 2022, falls within the holiday season, and I'm probably actually going to go up to Colorado to try and capture the Martian volcanoes. Then to wrap this up, here's some long period data for Jupiter and Saturn, which have much longer cycles owed to their much longer periods for their orbits, but also a much tighter range of opposition distances, largely due to their more circular orbits, at least compared to Mars. So that's all I've got this time, guys. Hope this was pretty informative and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.